averaging 24 points a game. First half. Here's Iverson. I'll take that. Thank you very much. The steal, return pass, and easy jam. John Thompson critical of his Hoyas lately for flashy play. They toned it down. Iverson hits the triple. Georgetown hit their first five three-point attempts. Bad pass. Iverson interception. One hand. He has hops. Hoyas cruising at halftime. They had a double-digit lead most of the way. More Iverson. Nice whip pass to Jerome Williams. Up and under. Good move on the baseline. Williams, 10 points, 10 boards. And here is Iverson. Off the steal. Look at this move. A little French pastry, as Al McGuire would say a few years ago. 83-52. Hoyas up their record is 6-1. Iverson scored 18 of his 21 points in the first half. The Hoyas out-rebounding Rutgers 50-39, holding the Knights to 27% shooting. Duke against South Carolina State. State. State hanging tough early. Eric Fernandez hits the three. Bulldogs down by just five. Coach K not happy. At one point slammed a chair down, although not like Bobby Knight chucking it across the court. Jeff Capel saw his coach upset. Hits the three. Capel with a steal. Taking it coast to coast. Two-hand slam. And more from Capel. Here's Greg Newton. To the breaking Capel. Boy, the authority. Capel and Duke. 84 to 64. Newton with 21. Capel 19. Duke re double A for an involvement with an agent. There's his coach, Rick Majerus. First half, Andre Miller driving the lane. He cashes in. Miller had a career high 16. Kelly Leonard with a drive of his own. This time he dishes, though, to Drew Hansen, the freshman for two, and the Utes up 16. Then Keith Van Horn, he led all scores with 17. And that's two of them right there. Utah wins easily. 86-50. They shot 58% for the game. They opened up an 18-2 lead. Drake never came closer than 14 the rest of the way. One reason is that Coach Rudy Washington benched his starters for the entire second half. Ben Melmoth, he returned from suspension. Six points, nine boards in the win. Freshly ranked Illinois off their win over Duke, hosting K-State. Richard Keen Steele feeds Kawan Garris for the lane. 11-zip run for Illinois. Then the defense, Chris Gandy, the rejection. Bryant Notre around Manny Dees for the lay-in and the foul. Three-point play. But Illinois would break it open. Up 15, Kevin Turner. The jumper at the buzzer. Illini by 17 at the break. Early on in the second. Gandy gets his own rebound. Hustling on the floor for the ball. Feeds Matt Heldman for the jumper. 49-30, Illinois. Turner takes the feed. Loses, but recovers underneath. Then the lay-in through traffic. 63-38, Illini. He tied his career high with 13 on the night. Atten Herbert down for the easy two try. The lay-in no good there. Tom Asbury's crew lost in the blowout, 82 on after the free throws. 30 seconds left, Cameron Murray, wild shot, ball goes to Williamson. Williamson with the clock running down, eventually, and there, the drive and the other end and scoop, and the Lions up by a point. But wait a second, USC has one last chance, down one, Stace Bozeman from three, side of the rim and the backboard. And Loyola Marymount hangs on to win in a wild one. They outscore the Trojans 13-zip in the last two minutes and one second of the game. Loyola out-rebounded USC 52-28. It's their first win over SC since 76-77. They had all five starters in double figures. Match that, Lair. Uh, the Battle of Ohio. Akron against Cleveland State. First half. And the Akron zips. There are no zips. They're running. Kenny Woesley lays it up and in. The Zips leading 20 to 5. Still in the first half. It's Ali Cart to Lawrence Culver. Out to Woesley for three. And Akron wins it 77 to 52. Not as exciting a finish there, but Kenny Woesley scored 17 points for the Zips. Cleveland's seeing Montana. Montana's first possession, the strip, Miles Simon. Simon says, dunk. And so he does. Cats go to their big man. Joseph Blair can't stop in. Good body control for the big man. Blaine Taylor trying to rally his grizzly troops. Doesn't help. Reggie Geary back door to Michael Dickerson for two. Cats up 16 at 41 to 25. And then Donnell Harris. Baseline gets a step, spin and dunk. The Cats cruise to victory 84 to 66. Arizona improving now to 6 and 0. They hand the Grizzlies their first loss of the season. Michael Dickerson with 17 points. Joseph Blair, the big man, 16 for the Cats. Arizona State and New Mexico. ASU up 10. Quincy Brewer with the steal. Lays it up and in. ASU up 43 to 31. Coach Bill Frieder enjoying the show. 
towel on his shoulder. They were up 18 at the half. But here, Charles Smith misses Clayton. Shields slams it down. New Mexico within five. Later on the half, Charles Smith. Baseline move. New Mexico within four. Where's the towel? Bill Frieder's starting to become unglued. Oh, big slam. Kenny Thomas off the rebound. A 15-2 run. Bill Frieder would leave dejected. 86-79. The Lobos raised their record to 5-0 with the upset. Charles Smith with 23 points. Clayton Shields adding 18 for the Lobos. Look out, whack. New Mexico's for real. The Sun Devils did not help themselves much at the line. They hit only eight of factors on the bench with foul trouble. Villanova pulls away second half. Alvin Williams put Nova up by 12. But Miami doesn't give up. Alex Frazier, nice look to Kenny David for the jam. Under a minute left, Nova by seven. Anthony Rosa, walk on, nails a three. Inbound, Williams, bad position, falls out of bounds, turnover the other way. Miami takes advantage. Steve Edwards hustling up the board, sets up for the three and pops, tied at 68. 12 ticks left. Zephy Penn to Kerry Kittles. Watch this, Kittles. Gets it to go, lays it in, Nova by two. Miami last chance. Kevin Norris from way out, just off the mark. So Nova wins 70-68. Kittles had zero points in the second half until he hit the game winner. They're up to their best start since 84-84 in a bit. First half, Felipe Lopez to Zendon Hamilton, who slams it. It was close early, but wait. It would be late eventually. Syracuse would blow the game open. Lazarus Sims from three. He's got that one. Marius Janelis, three, got that one as well. Orange by 11 at the break. Second half, all Syracuse. John Wallace pass to Otis Hill, my man. And then on the break, David Patrick to John Wallace gets his own slam. Brian Mahoney watching his Red Storm get washed out. Syracuse wins. In the nation for Norm Stewart. But his Tigers start off slow. First half, Jesse Pate leading the break. Nice pass to Antoine Hall for two Razorbacks cruising by 14. More from Arkansas. Kareem Reed with the steal. It's a three-on-one. They get it back to Reed for the finish. Arkansas by 10 at the break. To the second half, and there's a lot of this. Rejected from behind. Arkansas with 18 blocks. The alley-oop. Hall from Reed. Arkansas up 11. Missouri fights back. Simeon Haley. Watch him throw it down and slap the backboard. That's a move I like to do quite often myself. <laughs> Mizzou within four and get it out of here. Don't bring the weak stuff inside. Sunday out of bio rejecting Julian Winfield. Arkansas, Jesse paid for three. Jesse starting to feel it. Jesse's shooting the lights out. And we mean that quite literally. <laughs> it goes dark. However, ESPN always has power. Can't turn the juice off on us. Arkansas. Frank Secker gets the pass, nails a three. Vandy on a 13-2 run. Jeff Jones, give me time. Jamal Robinson would respond with some defense off the steal, taking himself coast to coast for the layup and in. But the Commodores answer back. Drew Maddox nails a three. Then Secker off the pick, uses the screen, and nails a three. Vandy had the lead at the break. Second half, Cavs turn to Harold Dean. But Dean, he turns it over instead. Malik Evans will get the eventual layup. Vandy upsets Virginia, 61-48. So Jeff Jones and Harold Dean were the answers to the quiz. They both didn't have any answers for Vandy, who's won five straight despite shooting just 33% themselves. Virginia was one of 18 from three. Michigan and LSU is seen here on ESPN. Tied at 65, 245 left. Travis Conlon, Michigan up two. But they give it away. Gene Neighbors the steal to Maurice Carter. Off for Ronnie Henderson for the jam. Tied at 67. LSU up one. Nine and a half left. Nine and a half seconds. Landers Nolly shooting two. Missed the first. Then misses the second. Brick City. Lewis Bullock grabs the rebound. Moves up court. Sinks the jumper. Michigan by one. 3.8 left to go. LSU trying to inbound. Bullock nearly steals the pass. Michigan would stop a second try, too. And on the third attempt, Henderson steps out of bounds. You didn't see it, but trust me, disaster for Dale Brown. Michigan wins 69-68. And Harold Honeycutt loses the handle, gets control, and fires. Tulane up 75-74. Nine seconds left. James Collins is fouled shooting the three. He gets three free throws, makes them all 77-75, six seconds left. Corey Childs, he loses the handle. He loses the handle. Oh! Oh, my God! 
Gerald Honeycutt. Gerald Honeycutt. The prayer was answered. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. The Honey from Honeycutt, 78-77 Tulane. Here's a look at some other hoop scores from Tuesday night. Looking for Thomas for the win. Shoots it. Go! Great shot, but take another look. The clock goes all zeros, and the ball is still in the hand of Brian Thomas. San Diego State feeling like they've been ripped off. They lose 85-83. Both teams undefeated into the Minutemen's home opener. Duncan forces Camby down low, hits the short jumper, gets the roll. Next trip down, Duncan goes up. Camby the block, but Tony Rutland, Wake is there for three, got it. Marcus Camby comes back with an answer of his own, rolling off Ricky Perrell, the jumper over Duncan. Edgar Padilla finds Donta Bright, need fake for the layup. And Camby again. Turnaround, jumper, nails it. UMass led by as much as 12, but Wake would come back. Duncan, little hook turnaround shot over Camby. He's got it. And just every so often, it's not just Camby and Duncan, it's Rutland for another three. Wake within three, but UMass too strong. Camby, one last jumper over Duncan the show. Who's boss? UMass, 60-46 over Wake. The Minutemen held Wake Forest just 19 second half points. And when you could look by Duncan and Camby, it was Dante Bright who stepped up 22 points. But this Ray Allen for Connecticut. The steal, and he's on his own. Beats another Notre Dame 15 first half turnovers. More UConn, Allen to Daron Sheffer. Sheffer saving the ball, and it's Ricky Moore inside. UConn by 15 at the half. Second half here, Sheffer. To Moore and then to Kirk King, he throws it down. Last minute of the game, and Rashamil Jones, he's open, he'll go up and he'll dunk. No, he won't. Lost control. UConn wins it 85 to 65. Connecticut's out 5 and 1 to open the season. Sheffer had 23. Allen 19, even after starting out 0 for 6 from the floor. Pat Garrity 18 for the Irish, who are now lifetime 0 and 2 in the Big East. Wisconsin, Green Bay, and Kentucky, and the mascot getting into a fighting mood. Kentucky cruising Jeff Norgard trying to keep Wisconsin Green Bay in it, and he did so with 29 points. Kentucky, though, fighting right back. Derek Anderson, the alley-oop, Ron Mercer. It's a basket, 49-34, Kentucky at the half. Second half, Phoenix still in it. Ron Berlowski for the three, down by 10, though. Kentucky pulling it out. Anderson to Antoine Walker to Walter McCarty to the basket. And Mike Heidman's team goes home losers, 74-62. to Antoine Walker, 13. Tony Walker out with the bad ankle. They didn't need him, though. Dewan Wheat to Alvin Sims. Moorhead coach losing his mind. Still in the first half, Cardinals continue to pull away. Bo Zach Thomas, one of seven blocks. That ignites the break. It's Sims. It's the reverse dunk. Cardinals up 17. Sims had 13. Cardinals pouring it on. Wheat and Tick Rogers, the give and the go. Wheat, pretty good hang time. That's festive. Cardinals roll 119 to 61. Louisville hit on 60% of its shots. Wheat had 23. Rogers 19 and a career high 12 rebounds. Moorhead State's Marlon Witherspoon had 18 boards in that game. Howard University and Maryland going at it. At Maryland, Terrell Stokes, the steal. And the dribble and the shot and the goal. Terps cruising in this one. Watch Maryland now in transition. Johnny Rhodes gives it up. X3 hip. And that's just softly dunked. Terps 88 to 71 on stuffed animal night. Johnny Rhodes had 21 for the winners. Dwayne Simpkins had seven. Suing coming at you. That's pretty good. Hawaii going strong, but suing ain't done. Here's two more of his 10 first half points. The missed jumper, the suing dunk. Game tied at halftime. Long Beach up 66-64, under two minutes left. Rasul Salahuddin, he hits the jumper and the beach pulls away, 71-66. Akili Jackson and James Cotton each had 15.